Hi, welcome to my channel, the Machine Learning Engineer. Today I'm going to show you an interesting trick to you interact to add with your operating system from uh, your uh, Python application. This is done with the library I Python, uh, which usually is installed with Jupyter Notebook or in Google Colab. It's not you can install uh, in your uh, Python application. And what you essentially get with the IPython is an interactive cell which you can integrate and use from inside your uh, Python application. Uh, with the method uh, getIPython, uh, you uh, essentially instantiate an um, interactive uh, IPython cell and you can use whatever is possible with this object. There is two interesting methods. One is, one is getOutput which uh, return you the standard output of the, the execution of the, an arbitrary command in your operating system, like here, LSAL. If you execute it, just simply uh, execute the interactive cell, execute the command, and it's returning the output to your application. You can later assign this output to a, a variable and parse it and use it as content inside your Python application. Another interesting method is system row, which allows you to just simply execute a command. Eh? Here we are going to execute uh, the command in the background and then on does it. You just execute the command and then on you can check it. For example, the, the server that you run in the, in the command is done or you have uh, uh, the, the library installed with another uh, operating system command. Here <coughs> we just send the, the command, it's executed in the background and you don't get any, any message. It's interesting, for example, when you just want to run a server and, and that's it, or run an application. You can do the same uh, with get output and just install, uh, get, uh, get uh, the outputs of the install of this uh, library. Here we are installing the NetTools library from Linux into the operating system. You assign the output, the standard output to a library. And then on, once it is executed, you can uh, review the content of the library, of the, of the, uh, the content that returns the, the execution of that command and use it inside your application. Here, for example, we are just running MLflow, which is a, a tracking library that, that we're broadly using in machine learning. Here we are just executing the server in the port 5000 in, in the background. We just uh, send the command. Uh, we execute the command with the interactive cell. And then you can check if the, if the server is running, which is PSEF5 great uh, MLflow. You can check here that your server is running. Um, here, again, get the Python is just uh, instantiating an interactive self, and you can just use it inside your uh, Python application. There is plenty of, uh, of methods and attributes of the, of the interactive self. And again, you can use it uh, inside your Python application and take and uh, advance of, the, all, uh, of what you are able to do with a, an interactive cell, but from inside your application. You can do the same with suit process, for example, but it's much more complicated to use it and this way uh, easily and, and very uh, uh, directly uh, integrated in your in your application, you can get the output of the execution of the command, or just the uh, and and then on parse it and use it as a in a in a in a workflow in a, in a check uh, and run uh, alternatively some other applications depending on the condition on some conditions. Just if the if the command had or the output of the command had a positive or a negative output. I pass you the documentation in the notebook that later I will I will upload to the repository as usual. And if you if you know the magic uh, command the, the when you want to execute in a Jupyter notebook uh, a command in your operating system from a cell, you just introduce the admin 
uh, sign uh, before the, the command and you just run the operate uh, the command into the operating system you can do this only on the notebook and this is exactly the same that you will get executing get a python uh, get i python with a system underscore row or get output inside your python application again this way is only for sales in notebooks on google or google collab and to do the same inside the python application you just need to, to use get i python that's all uh, thank you very much thanks for watching the video and if you like just give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it before thank you bye bye